First ladies of the four Lake Chad Basin countries met in Manhattan on the sidelines of the 72nd UN General Assembly to mobilize resources and discuss an issue that concerns them all. <laughs> Nigeria's First Lady, Aisha Buhari, was represented by the wife of the Senate President, Tony Saraki, who delivered the First Lady's speech. She spoke of Nigeria's collaborative efforts to restore peace and prosperity to the region. The issue goes beyond aid. The issue required all the countries affected by the region to come together and develop a strategy, not just to help the internally displaced persons, but to begin to plan a way forward out of this problem to actually rebuild the lives of the people in that region. So I would say that Nigeria is leading the effort to really rehabilitate and restore the Lake Chad Basin to its former prosperity, which includes restoring peace. And we have very, very high hopes for this concerted effort. The United Nations has linked the root causes of the crisis to the receding lake as a result of climate change. Millions have lost their means of livelihood, leading to a crisis that fed into the antiques of Boko Haram insurgents. In the past in Niger, in the lecture, there is a lot of culture of uh, uh, paper. But now and there is a lot of fish, and now there is no fish in Lakchad, there is no paper, so young boys are, are very, uh, have no activity. So when Boko Haram came and, and said, hey, take $100 and, and, and put a bomb there, they, they accept. So we have to, to make uh, the children going to school have, have some, some work. These first ladies seek to close a humanitarian funding gap of 1.5 billion US dollars before the end of the year 2017. The intervention will focus on education, nutrition, health and empowerment. From the United Nations headquarters in New York, Adesha Wachosh, Channels Television News.